What's up explorers? So in this video, we're going over to a place called Mocha Specialty Coffee. This place is an Athens staple. We gotta check it out. Central market where you come and get all your meat and your seafood and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, looks like they, they roast their own coffee here. So this is the part of the place where you get your beans to take home with you. And then you go next door. And next door is the cafe.
thank you. So I'm sitting here at Mocha Specialty Coffee. I just got me a, a double Ebert. You saw how it was made there. They gave us Turkish Delight. They already poured a little bit. So let's, let's see what's going on here. That is smooth. Usually when you get a Greek or a Turkish coffee, it is harsh. They're obviously using actual specialty quality beans for their Greek coffee here. Usually you're going to find some stale Robusta or something like that. It can be difficult to drink. Really strong. But this, this is, this is absolutely pleasing. So got some good caramel going on there. Yeah, kind of like a caramel apple. Because you got a good tang going on too. So you got sweet, tangy. It's not a, a sourness that just hits you in the, in the face. It's just a, a really, really pleasant, pleasant flavor. I'm really excited that I got to kind of experience this place. This is called an Ebrick here in, uh, in Greece. They also call it a, a Jezve in other parts. They, I think over in Armenia they call it a Jezve, which is spelled with a C. <laughs> it was really cool. It's the first time I've ever actually had uh, coffee that was brewed in sand like that. Pretty excited that I got the opportunity to try it. Oh, check out this shirt I got. Uh, <laughs> it's a quote from Socrates, and it says, the only thing that I know is that I don't know anything. <laughs> I actually uh, I went to this t-shirt company and they, they printed it right in front of me. Alright, so... Double uh, great coffee uh, here. I, it cost me two euros eighty. I gotta say, it was a good buy. <laughs> I'm just hoping that it doesn't uh, affect my body the way coffee has been affecting my body since I've been here in Greece. It hasn't been good. Uh, if you've noticed, I've been uh, kind of changing the branding of the channel. We used to be Traveling Coffee Guy. Now we are going to be tasting travel from here on out because for one, I, was, I felt I was kind of pigeonholed into they're doing coffee all the time. There's so much more to travel than just coffee. And I think there's just so many amazing foods and travel destinations. It's not quite as hard on my body. There's nothing like being in a foreign country and all of a sudden, boom, you need a toilet and you need a toilet now. It's, it's a bad situation. So I need to kind of lay off the coffee for a little bit, but I couldn't pass this place up. Let's go ahead and try this Greek Delight. Yeah, that's, that's nice. It's kind of like a, a, a gummy candy, but lighter. Good. Like, subscribe, and follow us for the next video, and I'll see you there. Go ahead and check this video out here. We're going to go to the most recent series that we have planned right now, Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Just click right here to subscribe. And if you're in Seattle, you can make a bill.
as always, eat great food.